Lots of traditional Iranian dishes consist of kebab and different types of stew with rice. So a good portion of our daily meals will include rice. An average Iranian will probably have at least one full plate of rice for lunch or dinner. Or in some regions, Iranians will have rice for breakfast. That would be in regions where there's rice galore, like in the north of Iran. beautiful countryside of Talish and are now driving to Gison Forest. A very dense and diverse forest with gigantic trees and exotic plants, which is a great habitat for Caspian wild horses. At the end of this road, we get to see the Great Caspian Sea. A must-see place when you're visiting the northern provinces of Iran. Mesmerizing sea and a huge river flowing into it. At the end of each road in Gisun, there's a surprise waiting for us. Gilan is not just about natural beauties and attractions. There's also history that you can find it in the middle of this jungle. Like this historical site, which is one of the eight wonders of Gilan province. It is called the White Mosque, or Espi Masget in local dialect. Experts estimate that the mosque belongs to 800 years ago. According to Mr. Kuhi, Espi Masget is not the only place in Gilan that you can find amazing artworks and architectural beauties. Driving through Gisun Forest again, and we're off to another historical attraction of this region. Located between Hashtbad and Astara, Lisar is a famous city in Gilan, which is well known for its magnificent and historical fortress called Salsal. Salsal Fortress is located at the top of a hill, which is about 100 meters above the sea level. We had to climb up the hill to check out this historical monument. Salsal Fortress is a pre-Islamic structure, which was built during the Sasani period. But many years later, it was used mostly by Ismailis to protect their territory. A very strong and glorious structure made of stone and brick. Nowadays, Gilani people do not build structures like Salsal Fortress or the White Mosque. But their hardworking lifestyle hasn't changed that much, and their energy is getting spent on another aspect of life. Hardworking Gilanese men and women spending days in these geometrical fields where water is up to their knees, preparing the field and planting some of the best quality rice in the region. Spring is a time to prepare the rice fields and plant rice seedlings. And for the past two months, this is exactly what has been going on in every corner of Gila. You can see a great example of teamwork and cooperation between neighbors, families and friends during this long and tough process. Of course, it is very hard for one individual to prepare and plant a huge field. So they help each other 
And this goes on until everyone gets their field ready and planted. Almost in four months, these rice fields are ready for harvest. And I'm definitely coming back again to Gilan. Shahryar Azimi for Iran.